it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. In today's project, we're going to be making an interactive spinner card and we're going to be using products from Art Impressions. The main product that we're using today is this adorable bunny front and back stamp set, which does include the coordinating dies. We're going to be using all of the elements here from the set to make our card. I'm going to start first by stamping the bunnies in Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And I'm going to stamp onto Hammer Mill White cardstock. This is a really great paper for Copic marker coloring, which is how I'm going to color the bunnies today. I did stamp them twice because I didn't get a perfect impression the first time, so it's one of the nice features about the Mistias. I can just go back over and do it again. I pulled out some spring colors from my Copic marker collection and I'm going to color this bunny with those and I'll use some gray markers to add a little bit of shading to him as well. I want the bunny to kind of maintain that white color but have a little dimension with some gray shading. I end up using some pattern papers for my card and that was what kind of inspired the colors that I chose to use on the bunny. You'll notice when I pull out the pattern paper, you'll see these colors throughout. So a lot of times when I'm planning my card project, and especially if I'm using pattern paper, I always try to make sure I match my colors with that. Once I colored the image, of course you're coloring the front and the back, we're gonna take the coordinating dies and cut both that front and back image out. The die set includes both, which is super handy, so you can die cut everything all at once. And I will hold these down with some very, very low tack tape from Simon's The Stamp to make sure the dies don't shift. An extra special feature on my spinner card today is that I added some pom-poms. These are really small pom-poms. I have them linked below in the video description, but they look so cute on top of this bunny and adds a lifelike feel to him. It's super cute. Now, of course, this does make the card a little bit more bulky, so you probably would wanna put this in a padded envelope if you're going to add the pom-poms. If you don't, this card will go through the mail very easily. So to create my spinner, I've put a piece of red line tape down the center of my bunny, and then I'm going to take some clear thread. I have this linked below in the video description so you can find it, and it doesn't necessarily have to be clear. You could use any thin thread that you would like, but I do like the fact that this is clear so it kind of disappears and the bunny stays the center focus of my card. So I laid the thread into the adhesive, and then I'm going to add some glue around the outer edges to just glue the other bunny into place. And of course, because there was string involved in this project, Oscar figured that out and he had to come and check things out. I don't know what it is, but every time I have string, my cats know it and they are right on my table, all excited to play with it. So I have my other bunny and I'm gonna lay him on top so that way the thread is now sandwiched between the two bunnies. We'll let this dry a little bit before I go ahead and stick it into my card. We need, of course, a window into the inside of our card to make this interactive element possible. So here's my pattern paper, and I've got a rectangle die and a circle from Simon's Stamp that I'm going to create a window into my paper with. I'm gonna hold these down with very, very low tack tape so they don't shift, and then I'll run it through my die cut machine. Now I need to place that same circle die onto my card, so that way it's also die cut in the same place as the circle on my paper because this is of course going to look into the inside of the card, so we want everything lined up perfectly. So I'll go ahead and lay the circle die in place and then remove my paper, open up my card so that way I don't cut into the back side, and we'll run this through my die cut machine. So now we have a window cut into the front of our card. We're ready to go as far as gluing things together now, so I'm going to work on adhering my bunny first. I'm going to put a piece of red line tape on the top and the bottom of where the bunny is going to be suspended down the center of the card. Doesn't matter what size the tape is, we're gonna cover it up with some adhesive later, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to press that down really well, remove the release paper so that way I can expose the adhesive on both the top and bottom of this window. And now we'll come in with our bunny and stretch him across the center of this card and lay the thread into the adhesive. So this is one side of the adhesive, and of course we'll cover the other side of the thread with another piece of adhesive, so that way it will be completely sandwiched in place and not fall apart. Now you could use just standard adhesive to glue your pattern paper on top, but I wanted some dimension. So I'm actually using my second layer of adhesive as foam tape, and I'm covering right over top of where our thread was placed, and then removing the release paper on the foam tape, I can adhere my pattern paper on top. So now the bunny is sandwiched in between that window and we have our beautiful pattern paper frame around him. 
I'm going to pull out this new stamp set from Simon's Stamp. This is the pop-up shape puns stamp set. And there's some great puns in here that work really well for Easter cards or bunnies. So I'm gonna use this one that says extra special. I think it's really cute. I decided to stamp it onto some pink cardstock, which matched well with my patterned paper. And I'll use embossing ink to stamp that down. I did prep the surface of the paper with our Simon's Stamp brush powder tool. Once I stamped this down, I can then bring in my white embossing powder, sprinkle it over top, and then I will go ahead and heat set this with my heat tool. I am holding this with my hot hands, which helps to prevent my fingers from getting burned. I glued this sentiment straight down onto my card with some thin 3D foam squares. This will give it just a little bit of pop off of my card. It looks cute. Now we have, of course, a window looking to the inside of the card, so it's natural that we would wanna decorate that, right? So I decided to do some ink blending and I'm going to use some cantaloupe ink and a Simon blending brush to add a little bit of color towards the bottom of my card. And I'll just bring this up to about the middle area. I did a light wash of color because I'm actually gonna come back in with a stencil and ink blend over top of that. This is a really cute egg stencil. I have it linked below in the video description along with all the other supplies that I'm using today. And this stencil will look so cute behind the bunny and really tie in that egg theme because of course our bunny is holding an egg. So I think this looks really good with this. And so I'll just go over top of that stenciling with the same ink and just do a tone on tone ink blended background. And now we have those eggs softly showing through our window, which I think looks so pretty. Now at this point, the only thing left to do is wind him up. So that way when your recipient receives the card, he will spin around when they open it up. So I just go ahead and I twist this a few times to get them all nice and taut. And then when the recipient opens it, check it out. Isn't it cute? I just love these spinner cards. They're such an easy and fun interactive card design. And I think it would make somebody smile. This would be a great card, not just for Easter, but for birthdays, thinking of you, just telling somebody that you think they're a special person in your life. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to check out the links below in the video description. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll be back soon with more to share. But until then, I hope you have a very extra special day. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.